Alright, yeah, viewers, you're welcome to another edition of You and the Saxophone Part 2. Last week was an interesting one. It was such an interesting episode. Yeah, it was such an interesting episode. And um, we look forward to a better day today. And um, today, uh, just like I promised last week, I said I'm going to teach you the various kinds of saxophone case that we are having on the saxophone. The various kinds of case we have on the saxophone. Now, briefly, I'm going to tell us the kinds of the saxophone case we have, and um, from there we we'll take it on. Yes. Now, um, today I'm holding a tenor saxophone, and I want you to know that the case of the saxophone is the same irrespective of the types of saxophone you are holding be it a soprano sax be it an alto saxophone or a tenor saxophone just like the one i'm holding now now very simple i said i'm going to show you the various kinds of saxophone keys that we are having all right now i'm going to show you Number one, on the kinds of saxophone keys, we have the one we refer to as floor keys. Yes, I said they are what? One, floor keys. These are your floor keys. One, two, three, one, two, three. I'm going to show you again. I say your floor keys are one, two three one two and three these are your what your floor keys of course i'm going to label um the keys now now the first one here is your key b and the second one here this is your a this is your g this is your f this is your e and this is your d is that okay all right now taking it upward now we're going to have it in this way like d e f f sharp you get that this is d e f f sharp then on the upper region here you have this as g a b and your middle c is that taking i'm going to take the floor keys again now i say i said the floor keys are what? D, everything close. One, two, three, one, two, three, close. This is D. This is E. This is F. This is F sharp. Here you have it as your G. You have this as A. This is B. And of course, your middle C. These are the keys that comprises your what? Your floor keys. Fine. Now I'm going to take you through your side keys. These are your side keys. Reading it upward, we have this as your B flat. Side B flat. This is your what? Side B flat. And of course, in the middle here, you have it as your what? Side C. This is mostly played in combination with your B, right? This is mostly played in combination with your B here, like this. And of course, your side B flat is also played in combination with your A. Look at it. When I press these two now, and I hold down my side B flat, this gives me my B flat. Is that taking? And I said, my side C is played in combination with what? With key B up here. That's fine. Now, and of course, the one up here is your E. Side B flat, side C, side E. These are the side keys. Is that taking? We've discussed about the floor keys. And now we just finished discussing about your what side keys. And now taking you from the side keys, I'm going to take you through 
your palm keys. I'm going to take you through your what? Your palm keys. Now, and of course, these are your palm keys. Why? Because they are mostly played with the palm, right? These are your what? Palm keys. Now, taking it from here, the one that is closer to me here is my key D. The one closer to me here is my what? My key D. And the one next to it is what? E flat or D sharp. E flat or D sharp. And the one here is your key F. Is that okay? So I'm going to take our palm keys again. I said the one close to me here is what? My palm D. And the one here in the middle is my what? E flat. And here is my F. Is that okay? Good. Now, and that will take us through another kinds of keys which it which we refer to as your auxiliary keys very simple now here you have some of these keys here this is an auxiliary key now you refer to this one here as auxiliary f sharp low and here you refer to it as what auxiliary f sharp high auxiliary f sharp low and here you have it what as auxiliary f sharp high now there are other auxiliary keys which i'm going to show you straight now look at this one here this small key here is an auxiliary b flat is that okay this is an auxiliary b flat and of course taking it off from here you see another key here there is a key here above this key b this one you refer to it as your what auxiliary this is what auxiliary f this is auxiliary f these are some of the auxiliary keys you have on the saxophone and from here i'm going to to take you through your low keys now this is your low key this is c this is what e flat or d sharp below here you have it as your what b flat this is what b oh thank you thank you adeleke thank you for the for the comments so far all right now here i have it as what as my what low b flat and here inside i have it as what b oh thank you joel thank you thank you that's mr joel from congo <laughs> thank you for the comments all right now and from here i have um my b this is my low b right Okay, and, and on the outside here, I have it as my what? C sharp. Is that taken? And from here now, I have it as my what? This is my what? G sharp. Now, you've got to know the kinds of saxophone keys. Are you following what I'm teaching? We have various kinds of saxophone keys. We said we have the floor keys. We have the side keys. We have the auxiliary keys, we have the palm keys, and of course, we have our low keys, which we've just made mention. Briefly, I'm going to go through this so that you get to know the types, the kinds of your sound keys. And of course, from here now, I believe you'll be able to identify your own very keys. All right, now, this is it. The floor keys comprises of what? C, D, E. C, um, your floor keys comprises of what? D, E, F, F sharp, G, A, B, and your middle C. Right? Then your side keys are what? Side B flat, 
side C and your side E, right? That is for your side keys. And of course, I taught you about your your auxiliary keys, and I said you have this as your what? Auxiliary F sharp low, and here you have it as your what? Auxiliary F sharp high. Taking you up here, I show you that you have this as your auxiliary B flat, and of course, up here you have it as your what? Auxiliary F. Uh, taking you to your palm keys, I showed you that you have this, the one closer to you, as your what? Key D. And the one next in the middle gives you your what? Your E flat or D sharp. And from here, you have this as your key F, which is the last one, right? So that is for your palm key. And I told you, I showed you your low keys where you have your what? Your C, this particular one here, then your D sharp or your E flat. From there, you have your what? You have your low keys. Your low keys continue. You have your what? Low B flat, low C sharp, then your low B, the one in the middle, right? And of course, you have your G sharp up here, right? So these are the various kinds of saxophone keys you have. Does that make sense? Yes. So uh, I just believe now that when somebody asks you to show them um, the floor keys, you should not be convinced that uh, which one is floor keys again? Which one is side key again? Which one is palm key again? Which one is low key again? Which one is auxiliary key again? So you need to get to know all of these things. And that is why I take my time to explain to you what all of these keys are. Right? That's fine. So now you shouldn't have problem with your keys identification. Everything close now together. You have it as one, two, three. One, two, three, plus this. That is your key C. Right? There. All right. And now, what we are doing, what I refer to as key identifications. Having got to know the various kinds of keys you are having on saxophone, you should be able to identify your keys. Now, one, two, three, one, two, three, plus this is your key C. That is for that. This is what? Key C. And holding down your key C like this, plus your C sharp, this gives you um, your C sharp. So C sharp on the low is best played when you hold down your key C and you add this one to it. And of course, you also need to know that when you leave everything open, that gives you also your C sharp, but on the second octave. Do you understand that? C sharp on the low, you must close everything down. You must hold down your C and then add the C sharp here. But if you want to play it open, that takes you to the next octave which is the same thing as you holding this one and register that is for that then and now you go so this gives you your, your key d one two three one two three now to have your d sharp you add this one down here the one above your key c is your d sharp or your e flat and from there you go through your key e so you release these two at the same time so you have one two three up here one two that gives you your key e and from there you move straight to your what your key f i will release this one so I'll now be left with what? One, two, three, and one. That gives me key F. Okay? How do I play my F sharp? Very simple. I will play F sharp as one, two, three, plus the one in the middle here. That gives me my F sharp. All right? Now, I want to show you another way you can play your F sharp. When you hold down your F again, 
again and you play your auxiliary f sharp low that gives you f sharp when you hold down your f and you press down your auxiliary f sharp low this particular key this particular key auxiliary f sharp low plus your f that gives you what f sharp all right then from there you move straight to your what your key g this is your key g one two three this is your key g is that okay now i'm from your key g you go straight to what your g sharp when i add this one to my g i have it as g sharp and from g sharp i will go straight to what key a thereby releasing these two both the pinky and the ring i will release these two and i'll now be left with what with this particular two keys that is the index and the middle so that gives me my a is that okay now and now for me to play my a sharp i will just flip the middle finger up here when i flip from here to here i have it as what as my a sharp or b flat alternatively i can as well play my a sharp or b flat in this order thereby holding one two and add my side b flat remember here is my side b flat this is my side b flat right so i can now play it in this way now or i will flip from my middle c up to this point and i'll have it as my b flat or a sharp so from here i will release this and i'm going to have this as what as key b is that okay and from b what is the next i move straight i release when i release here now i have it as what if everything is open look at it if everything is open now i have it as what as my c sharp i want to believe you are following remember what i said i said we have various kinds of saxophone keys there are various kinds remember there is difference between types and kinds it is when you are talking about the types of keys that you are now you'll be talking about your c c sharp d d sharp e f and all of that but now you get to know and understand what your kinds of saxophone are and i told you that you have kinds as your what floor keys your side keys, your auxiliary keys, your palm keys, and your low keys. Is that okay? Now, and of course, I've showed you your floor keys, and I said they are your what? One, two, three. One, two, three. These are your what? These are your floor keys, which are what? C, which are your what? D, E, F, F sharp, G, A, B, of course and your middle c these are your what these are your floor keys and taking you from your floor keys you are going to know what your side keys are these are your side keys look at them these are your side keys reading it upward the first one here gives me what my side b flat from my side b flat i'll take it up i have what my middle my side c right Mid side b flat side c and then what side e is that okay remember i said something i said this side b flat is best played when you hold down your a in conjunction with this so you have it as your what your side b flat and of course your side c can best be played when you hold your b and you add this to it so it's the same thing as you pressing your middle C or playing like this. Is that okay? And of course, this is your what? Your side A. From your side A, you need to understand what your auxiliary keys are, which I showed you before. I said this is what auxiliary F sharp low, auxiliary F sharp high, right? And of course, you have another auxiliary key, which is this particular one, which is what? Auxiliary what? B flat. Is that okay? And you have another key here, which is what? Auxiliary F. There is a key here. It is called auxiliary F. Is that taken? Now, and I showed you your palm keys. 
Your palm keys are as follow, are as follows. The one closer to you here is your key D. Then the middle one is your what E flat or D sharp, and the last one here is your what your key F. These are your what your palm keys. I'm taking you, of course, you have this as your what G sharp. Now that will take us through our what our low keys where we have this as our what low B. This is low B. This is low C sharp, and of course low B flat. Low B low C sharp and what low B flat of course down the region here you have this as your what your low D sharp or E flat and of course you have what you have your key C so that will bring us to the end of keys identification and um, the various kinds of saxophone keys that we are having on the saxophone. Next class, we are going to continue further. So I decided to take this because of many other persons who doesn't have the knowledge of the phone, but has been willing and has been aspiring to actually know how to the saxophone. That is one of the major reasons why I have to go and take the saxophone from scratch. So in our next class, will take you and the saxophone to the next level thank you for joining you can keep on inviting as many as possible as there are many things and there are many secrets that we are going to be unfolding here in this channel thank you for joining see you next week in our program tagged you and the saxophone thank you for joining